Hello everybody, welcome back to the In For The Wind channel. I'm Sinister, here's episode 33, and this episode is going to be another not super exciting one, I'm going to keep it pretty short. We're just going to talk about basically future planning, um, and unipolar magnets is one other topic that I want to touch on. So what i've come to realize and maybe i'm not totally right is that i believe these ones here with the infinite symbol they potentially there's a, not a limit to the levels that you can unlock them i don't i don't know anyways but so there's going to be a lot of research that needs to be done still so in my mind um the way i'm going to be doing it is I'm going to set some goals to keep me motivated to play this game. You know, I was thinking about dialing down the actual um, series a bit, but I realized if the youth cat's doing what they're doing, we might be getting that blueprint update sooner than we expected. And so I just want to make sure that this galaxy is going to be worth it for me to keep playing. So right now, one thing I haven't been paying close attention to is the uh, panels or the statistics panel. So right now, I mean, it's a pretty obvious that I'm overusing basically everything. Right now, I'm consuming almost more than I'm producing in every category. So that's going to be one thing on my to-do list is to go around and increase the amount on this planet in general, whether I bring it in from off-world or whether I use the existing nodes here. I have spent a lot of time investing in the vein utilization um, and I already spent 4000 that's when I realized that it's going to keep going. I can spend another 8000 to potentially get a lot more out of my, uh, my veins um, <clears throat> on various nodes, various planets. So that's one thing. Um, the other thing I want to do is increase the actual rate at which I'm producing. Right now I'm not producing a steady, uh, reliable supply. You know, it's kind of on and off. I struggle sometimes producing certain colors. So right now I, I have it set up to produce 40 a minute. <clears throat> I don't think I'm even really getting that. So another goal I have to plan for is to do uh, probably, I'm thinking 200 per minute, you know, speed it up quite a bit. So that's another goal. Um, what else was I thinking? Overall, I would like to, to hit... Um, my cluster value of one terawatt. I don't know how hard that will be to achieve. Um, I definitely plan on doing another Dyson Sphere or two Dyson Spheres in this game anyways. So that seems like a pretty viable option for what I'm going to do. So I think one thing I'm going to do is um, take a good look at the map here and try and get a good idea of what I have left to utilize. Um, a lot of these veins are getting a little bit low. Like that one still seems pretty good. So what I might go around and do is increase production of basically everything from the base and slowly just get these lines pumping more product out. Like right now I'm, I'm pretty lacking on particle containers. You know, it's one of the two things that can be made from those unipolar magnets I was talking about. So um, after, again, doing a little bit of research, the first part of the research was me going through every single star in my um, galaxy. You know, I strategically went from out and farther and farther, and it kind of dawned on me that it doesn't look like any single one of these uh, star systems had um, unipolar magnets. So finally I went way over here and checked out this unique looking guy over here. And I click on him, the neutron star. And there it was, the unipolar magnets. They spawn around that and the black hole. So those are gonna be the only two places I can get unipolar magnets and make an easier source of particle containers and ultimately to increase efficiency, get the plane smelter. When you go and look at it, it actually requires unipolar magnets in the crafting. So um, I can't even add that to the uh, strip mall I've created yet. So, um, and if you missed last episode, I highly recommend, recommend go checking it out. 
Um, we worked, I worked pretty hard coming up with a little design so I could get all my items into one place. Um, and it's pretty compact. I added in here at the end an orbital collector. That one's a little tricky because you have to use the energy exchanger. So, um, and man, yeah, like right now I need to use these dusters and I'm not producing a lot of them. So, anywho, that's again, I need to start producing more of everything like I talked about. So, in terms of like future planning, um, it's still a big scope for me. Um, I think I'm going to work on little by little right now. Like when I go out here, I still got my planet and the items on it to work with. There's still Tau Ceti second that's got quite a bit of titanium and copper and all that stuff. And then it's actually when it comes down to it, it's trying to decide like where I want to actually spend a bunch of time building a star, right? There's all these other things that have to do with, um, um, angle and tilt and how you're going to make an efficient star and so there's all these other things to plan for but i think right now in the foreseeable future what we're going to do is basically plan on building our next um dyson sphere around this k type star over here and then eventually 29 light years 25 light years and eventually once i upgrade our space travel speed um we'll look into flying out to these and and maybe getting some of that unipolar crystal but baby steps i'm going to keep this simple planning for now and i think for now right now it's about increasing production of everything so no resources starved then i can start really determining what um what I need to be producing a lot more of. Like I know for sure I need to start doing particle broadband more and some quantum chips. And, but anyways, I think the main plan is, the main goal I have is to get another star going and I think the ultimate goal I'm gonna have is to try and get a, a star producing at 30 rockets per minute. Um, so I think, like, if I go and look at this thing here, it's not even doing 7.5 per minute. I want to say it's doing, like, maybe half of that. So it's doing, like, three a minute. And that's pretty slow. I mean, over the 70 or, what am I at? I'm at 76 hours. Um... I've gotten just over a gigawatt out of my star. I mean, it's I, in my opinion, it's pretty sweet so far, but it's not it's not progressing at a super high rate. It looks like I finally almost got like one panel almost done. But um, this is going to be my first. I'm probably I'm not going to expand on it too much more. What I want to do is go over to the new star, the K star, and I'm going to set up a new. Um, even though it's only got 9.6 luminosity, I'm still going to set up a Dyson Sphere around this one. Um, just because I want to get some more practice in as well. And I want to do it a lot faster. So like I said, I'll probably plan on doing it at 30 per second. But I might do a little bit of searching around. Because people said to look out for um, how planets are tilting as well. And if they're locked in i haven't seen one yet they call it tidally locked or something and i thought somebody said it was satellite horizontal rotation so maybe that's what they're talking about because see these ones don't really have that text and when you hover over this one so I, I, if I understand correctly, I don't know if it actually has its own rotation. It uh, shows the time you need to plant to complete one rotation. But I think what it means is certain parts of it will always be visible. But in, not in this case, because it's going to pass behind the, the ice giant. So there's a lot of stuff to think about and plan. And, and again, I'm still going step by step. So um, I'm probably going to spend a little bit more time 
getting into the Wikipedia and, and learning about reverse rotation, learning about, um, yeah, the different planets and how to choose one. Like this guy's got all sorts of stuff, but it's all things like ice lake, ice field. It's like they all got nothing. Yeah, like I don't see, I, like I feel like this system is telling me it's got nothing. That can't be right. Yeah, I guess so. Signal detected, signal detected, like that, that's like, it must be a early forming star system. So anyways, I think that's pretty much it for this episode. Just a quick little one about future planning. And the big thing recommendation I have is to just be easy on your unipolar magnets unless you're playing like unlimited. I don't, I think that's one resource you want to just, depending on how long you want to play the game. And um, I think the other message I have is to kind of, Make sure you set a lot of small goals and one big goal. There's one thing I learned from playing lots of building games, construction games, is that if you try and set one ultimate massive goal, like building a mega base, and you don't have a plan for it, it just becomes an unattainable goal. You just have no way to do it because you're not planning, you're just jumping along. So make sure you go in with, you know, lots of planning. Um, Maybe I'll show you guys what I mean by that for the last little bit. Um, no, I better make sure I'm actually focused on the right galaxy. Where am I going? Asora indicator. Should I turn it off? No, there we go. So when I talk about future planning, I'm starting to realize really quick. Um, okay, we'll warp. And I've learned that you can warp past. So while I'm warping, I'll just do a quick flip here. So at 30 per minute, I need a lot of everything. I need 2,600 hydrogen per minute. I need, you know, 2,700, like big numbers. So the big thing to realize is, you know, make sure before you even start your build that your, your area can support it. Um, so that being said like I'm gonna go ahead in my next build which I'll probably do in the next episode uh, and start producing a full blue belt of uh, yeah I want to go to R right now I'm gonna start producing a full blue belt of um, oh here it comes ready hit that cap lock boom there it is so uh, I want to produce 1800 per second titanium ore and the big thing I wanted to do was make sure I had it all planned out. I spent too much time where I was like, oh, look how nice and compact I get it. And then I realized I have no power involved, right? So this time I went ahead and I planned out my lanes. I planned out how fast they're gonna be. And it's gonna make everything a lot easier when I go and show you guys how to do it in next episode. So with that, thanks for stopping by. I hope you got some informative uh, info, I guess is the best way to put it. That's going to help you in the future. And yeah, from, uh, from, uh, yeah, I guess that's it. We're, we're, we're going to take off. And that was episode 32. I hope you liked it. No, that was 33. Man, we're flying by episode 33. Thanks everybody. Hit that like, subscribe. I'm Sinister. We'll talk to you later.